Yeah, man. Grunt rising for everybody. Today I got some heavy message for y'all. Not really heavy in the sense of bad, but in the sense of really uplifting and um really uplifting message. Let me first start by saying there is no greater truth than what the universe put inside of you even before you were born, right? There is no greater truth than what you have made your conviction to be even before you knew what the word conviction meant in any dictionary. <laughs> there is no greater truth than this place that you remember like even when you knew what an image was what a sound was this place that you saw in your mind and you were like this is home right that place do exist I mean it does exist and Do not fall in line for anybody who is not acknowledging your uniqueness. Actually, do not fall in any line. <laughs> do not fall in any line. Draw your own line or your own lines. Yeah, that's better. Draw your own lines and allow these lines to welcome the people that are worthy of I'm not gonna say falling into these lines but dancing with these lines because I'm a guy that even sometimes I don't know why, like sometimes I'll be questioning myself. I'll be like, nigga, why you gotta be so free, like, and uncompromising with your freedom and in, with yourself in general, what we call self with a big S. And I've realized something this morning is that It's because there is no bigger truth than the self. And I know it's going, it's going to trigger a lot of people, but this trigger is only caused by an illusion that they have. They think like, when I say myself, it's different from they self, right? But we're all connected. And the more connected we are, the more our separate, separate selves, right, quote-unquote, separate selves, the more these selves come closer and closer to each other. And they eventually just wipe out the concept of destiny. I say destiny because I previously mentioned separation. Right. They wipe out destinies because in the world of you know space and time there must be it's you know, it's some kind of game and shit like that. I like to call it a theater. There must be for the sake of a circus, right? For the sake of playing, there must be separation. It's an illusion. But the big players, or I'm not even gonna say the big players, the people that have played the game enough times, they eventually get bored with it. And They eventually go like, all right, 
let me just go somewhere else better. Because all this separationist comedy going on in this theater, it's, it's boring. And you know why it's boring? Because it's repetitive, it's looping. And life has cycles as well. But when it comes to life, every time it loops, actually it doesn't loop, it recycles. Every time it recycles, it becomes better. This is why the solar system is not really rotating. It's not rotating in place or horizontally. It's circling up. No? It's circling up. But when you are in this boring theater, you know, you realize every time it loops, shit goes down. <laughs> every time it loops, shit goes down, bro. Notice how the human body recycles itself every seven years, right? After each recycle, you're supposed to feel better. You're supposed to feel a new person. And not to knock on anybody, but have you realized that there are some people that the more they try to recycle themselves, the uglier they get? <laughs> like there is an expiration date to their youth and and when I'm, when I'm talking about the uglier they get I'm not talking about physical ugliness the physical just comes after you know because it's it's, 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 it's usually late you know the physical is usually late because it's a, it's a turtle it's kind of slow but it always makes it through because it knows where it's going it's following a pattern, it's a perfect pattern, if I must, if I may say. And these people that every time they recycle themselves, they look uglier. You know why they look uglier? Because they use a lot of makeups. <laughs> you can't make this. Sh I can't make this shit up. Anybody can't make this shit up. Look at, look at like different people, different communities, different like, age doesn't matter, race doesn't matter, anything doesn't matter, bro. Just look, the more someone uses makeup to mask certain parts of their face that they don't really like, that they're not really comfortable with, bro, the uglier they get. <laughs> The uglier they get. And I'm not talking about in order to stay young or authentic, you must not use makeup. No. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. Right. But, uh, and there, there, there is also natural makeup. But these people that I'm talking about, they don't care about using natural makeups. Because they like it quick. They want it quick. That's why they like shortcuts, you know. They want it quick. They want it quick, man. You know, I like to breathe and shit. <laughs> they want it quick. So, uh, it's like, every time you recycle yourself, and you have the choice, like, sometimes you're going to be recycle yourself and you're going to hear your intuition tells you, it's not the time. But sometimes you go in a process and in the process of recycling yourself, there must be an explosion. There must be an explosion. Sometimes you recycle a machine, bro, in order for the machine to start working again, it must explode. 
the battery can't it can't hold that much false electricity you know it's like the battery can't hold that much false electricity right so the battery must blow up logically and once the bat and once the battery blows off what you do now nigga you put another battery on it <laughs> you put another battery on it a brand new battery man brand new battery that doesn't even need electricity right now I mean quote unquote you know it's a lot of stuff